This is Sergeant T, and today I'm at Epilepsy Matters, and we are going to be discussing the topic of weighted blanket, or what they call a heavy blanket. Um, now, I had heard uh, of these uh, people being for them, people uh, not having such a good sess, but I kept, kept hearing the word heavy blanket. Um, it was... It kept seeming relevant to me because I have most of my seizures uh, at night time or in the early morning hours. So uh, sometimes I have trouble resting, sometimes I have sleep issues. Uh, it's certainly an uncomfortable feeling when you're going to bed wondering if you will have a seizure during your sleep and be left uh, drained and with a migraine. Um, I have injured myself numerous times while having seizures uh, during the sleep. What I would do is build uh, a uh, little box around my bed with pillows and I would crawl into si inside that. Now that's incredibly high maintenance and maybe overboard and um, maybe put some pillows on the floor but um, uh, as Sergeant T uh, often says uh, you got to reduce the percentage that you will be injured while having a seizure. It's difficult for me to reduce my seizure count. The best I can hope for is taking the time and steps to ensure that I don't or I lower my risk for having a seizure and that I increase the chances of not being injured while having a seizure. So I um, ordered uh, a, um, a blanket. A family member suggested that I go 20% of my body weight and that um, if I liked it, then I could step up a, you know, and order a more uh, expensive one. This one wasn't that bad. It was in the $35 to $45 range. Um, from ordering from a national company who I'm sure we're all aware of. Um, so I, um, uh, you know, kind of looked at it as a week. Um, I thought I'm going to test this for a week um, and see if I oh, get magical, wonderful, unicorn-filled sleep. Now, any type of better sleep would have been better for me. Uh, that first night that I received the blanket uh, and slept that night uh, I did sleep from uh, seven solid hours and felt very well rested now there were several nights where I did not have magical sleep 80% um, of the nights since I have received this I have slept better and epileptic epileptics know or they should know that uh, that's one of the most important things for a person with any illness or especially epilepsy you need to be able to rest your body needs to be well rested or you increase the chance for scattered electrical activity in your body therefore increasing your chances of having a seizure um i um i felt unworried whenever I crawled into bed these first seven nights. I didn't have to worry about, oh man, you know, it felt so comforting, the 17 pounds that was upon me. And I felt like it was going to protect me if I had a seizure. Now, uh, maybe that was a false hope, but you know what? Uh, even sometimes false hope help you rest better at night. Um, I uh, began to look up things and this blanket isn't just for epileptics um, it's for anyone with any sleep issue it's for anyone with PTSD um, any sort of resting um, problem that someone's having this heavy blanket or weighted blanket um, is being bandied about as a you know not a cure, but a helpful, partial solution, okay? 
here's a few things that the blanket is not good at, okay? Ensuring the safety of small children. Uh, small children should not be uh, using uh, weighted blankets. Uh, it's Surely it's not good for pets. Uh, Sergeant T isn't a pet owner, but I'm sure that uh, this weighted, you know, the weighted feeling uh, couldn't be possible uh, or couldn't be absolute safe for uh, especially small pets or um, very small children. Um, the blanket size is a little bit confusing. Um, I sleep by myself, so I just got the one that, you know, l looked like the dimensions that would fit me. It's not as big as your, uh, your bed cover. It's not that tight, but it covers your body. So if you have a partner and you got, uh, you are both, you people are both um, uh, going to do this uh, weighted blanket experiment together, then be aware of the dimensions and you and your partner need to weigh, uh, uh, measure, measure, and then find the dimensions that would work for uh, both you and your partner. Um, I, um, it seemed kind of small to me when I first saw it, but it needs to be small. It's very compact. It's not your bed decoration. You need, if you need bed decoration, then, uh, you know, there, I'm sure there's a YouTube channel for that also. Um, if you have sleep issues and this works for you, then applaud. I had some sleep issues and my, uh, seizures, uh, I have not had a seizure while under the blanket yet, so I cannot testify for sure that it has helped me. But when I do, either way, whether it has helped me or had not helped me, I will let you know here at Epilepsy Matters. This is Sergeant T. And Sergeant T says, put down that Kool-Aid. Get yourself a good night of rest.